many uh, sectors over the last 18 months, we've had a number of hurdles to try and get over. Uh, not the least, uh, the fact that we were shut for nine of the last 18 months. Uh, but I think within our business, we had a mantra, which was that whilst our clubs may have been closed, we were absolutely open for business online. We turn, basically turned our head office into a film studio. Um, we, we were able to live stream 50 classes per week uh, out to thousands of, um, of, of energy fitness members. Uh, and we were also able to film in excess of 250 on-demand classes. So we created an online digital fitness platform, which we think really benefited uh, the network and in particular benefited our members. Just coming out of lockdown number one, uh, our private equity partners um, exited. Uh, and we had to, you know, very quickly put an MBO together um, to, to basically buy back the business. Uh, and in doing so, of course, we secured not only the future for energy fitness, but also for our whole uh, network, all of our franchisees uh, and all of our members. Outside of those business strategies that we had to put in place, we also went through uh, well, quite a loss, which I know a lot of people actually did. But for us, losing our founder, Jan Spatikia, at only 51 years this year was a real big loss to energy fitness because for us, we aren't just a business. We are a community and we are a family. And that really did rock us, but really brought us together to make us realise we can do this and we are resilient. And the last hurdle that we're, that we're facing at the moment is obviously coming out of COVID. Um, it's one thing, you know, being resilient during periods of lockdown, uh, but it's a completely different challenge, challenge coming out the other side. So at the moment, like the rest of the sector, uh, most of our clubs have recovered to a membership level of about 80% when we compare the membership numbers prior to COVID. But of course, it's always that last 20% which is the most important. So at the moment, we're, we're, we're coming up with different tools to give to our franchisees so that they can, they can regain that last 20% of membership and they can get back to their pre-lockdown number one uh, membership numbers, which is all important to everybody. In terms of um, sort of future adaptations as we, as we come out of COVID, um, I think first and foremost, um, health and fitness clubs are totally dependent on membership revenues. About 90% of our revenue uh, in the network comes from memberships. Memberships is all about volume and yield. So one of the things that we've been doing recently is introducing some new membership categories which are aimed to increase membership volume on the one hand, but equally increase yield on the other so that we can get the network back to as profitable position as fast as we possibly can. We've given some additional incentives to existing franchisees who we know are very keen to open more energy fitness clubs. So we're trying to make it easier for franchisees in the network to open more clubs. And then, you know, quite dramatically, really, uh, we're not just sitting on our UK laurels, but we're also looking at further afield. Um, in the next couple of weeks, we have our first club opening in Barcelona. Uh, we've just recently opened two clubs in India, one in Mumbai, uh, one in uh, Lucknow. Um, and we've got a, quite an aggressive rollout program um, for, for Europe over the next couple of years. And then finally, we're beginning to work with partner brands. So we're really excited to be able to announce really soon, but I can't do it today, uh, that we're going to be partnering with two new partner brands. Uh, these are brands that already exist. These are brands that have already got a proven model and a proven concept, but they're struggling to scale. So we're going to use our franchising systems and processes. We're going to put them together with a great product from a partner brand. And over the course of the next couple of years, we're not only going to grow the energy fitness network, but we're going to use our franchising uh, systems and processes to help grow um, a number of new partner brands, which will sit within the uh, energy portfolio. Right, we also made some additional changes um, to, you know, during periods of, of lockdown. In fact, the changes were in two parts. Number one, whilst the clubs were closed, uh, but number two, whilst the clubs were, were open. I think whilst the clubs were closed, one of the priorities for us was all about you know, engagement um, and, and communication with over 100 franchisees in the network. Um, and to try to um, positively affect that, we introduced uh, bi-weekly webinars uh, where myself and other senior uh, members of the management team, you know, on a bi-weekly basis would invite you know, every single franchise in, franchisee in the network uh, into a we webinar and we would just keep them informed of every single thing uh, that was going on, both from a government support um, perspective, but also from some of the things we were doing internally. And then in addition to that, um, we, we obviously pivoted all of our training online as well. All of 
the training that we actually were doing face to face, we moved it all online and we split them into modules. One of our famous ones, award winning training, our Take the Stage program, we made sure all of our teams went through that again because that is all about our visions and values, the customer service and how integral our members really are. Um, once we opened up, again, we made sure our teams really understood the importance of our members and therefore we implemented a few things such as our capacity tracker so our members were able to book in every single one of their visits and they knew exactly how many people were in the club at that point so it was never overrun. We also implemented our safe exercise campaign which is deemed the four S's. Smiling, signage, sanitising and spacing all around making sure our members understood that their health and safety was our number one priority.